Hi there, this is Jenny from Jenny's Garden. Today we're going to do a sister video to the one that Mary and I did last week, where we were using the Brother Scan and Cut and the We Are Memory Keepers foil quill system. I've got my mat here and I went ahead, I'm just using the same one that we used the other day when we made friends and I'm going to make it bigger so I can pull this whole thing up. I like to cover a whole mat when I'm taping something down because then I can either cut elements out of it or whatever I want to do with it, right? So I've got, I'm going to use as much of my foil and paper as I can in this one piece right here. Um, oh, 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 very important. Shiny side up. So you want the shiny side up so that there's a very thin transfer film that's on this. For my friends who do um, vinyl, you know what transfer tape is. So it's got a film of transfer tape, then the foil is laid on it with the shiny side against the transfer tape, and the matte side is what has some type of chemical in it that helps meld it to the paper. So if you're using a foil press with heat, um, that's what this little foil press is. If you're using one with heat, then you need to make sure that your foil is for a heat product. So there's different heating products out there. There's the Crafter Companion um, Gemini uh, foil press, which I have. There's the uh, Glimmer. There's the Go. And so any of the foils that go with these heating systems will also be compatible with the We Are Memory Keepers um, set. Now, they may say you're not going to get as good results with ours because ours is specially made for this particular thing. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, great. So, um, disclaimer also, Brother has said that they do not recommend, or they don't um, guarantee the warranty on your machine. My machine's really old, so I don't think there's a warranty left on it anyway. Uh, so that's a good thing. It's something I paid for a long time ago. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna move the camera down some. I've already got my scanning cut on, and I've had my little foil quill, which is the blue thing here. I've had this heating, Mary recommends that we heat them about, I heat it about five minutes. So I'm going to go with that. She already had all this screwed in together. But if you watch the other video, she explains how these adapters are specially made for each machine. So I'm using the Brother and my adapters B. I've had it heating. It's hooked over here to this USB. I have a lamp that has a USB um, on it. Because there is a USB on the Brother Scan and Cut, but both Mary and our other friend Justin have tried using it and the machine just does not seem to have enough power to run the heater element and the machine at the same time. So the heater element, because it's the secondary, it doesn't get heated. So I just have, um, you guys, I had a power strip here the other day and then I hooked it to this lamp. So this is my cutting blade and I've got to remove it. Mary did all this for me last week or other day, so just um, bear with me because I'm this is my first time by myself. I'm jumping out of the nest. Okay, does it go up? No, it goes down. Okay, very good. You see, I, I don't use this Brother Scan and Cut much, but I'm hoping with this new system, I'll be able to do it. So I'm going to take my mat. I've already had my brother on. I'm going to feed my mat, and it says, oh, it's going to move, so it warns you. Um, maybe that's not feeding. Oh, it helps if you get it in the guided area, Jenny. There we go. Operator error. And so then it's going to ask me, do I want a pattern or do I want to scan? So I'm going to start with a pattern because I've got to put something in here. And then I can do letters and numbers and um, save data means that you have it like on a USB drive or a, a memory drive. And you can put it into the USB port here and you can actually pull up that save data by file. So if you're used to using a, a USB thumb drive, you can do that. This particular model comes with an adapter for a computer, and I use my Cricut adapter. They work great on it, so I don't have to buy a separate adapter. So let's see. I've got a friend who's getting married in two weeks, so I don't know if they have any wedding stuff. Oh, there's a cheers. I like that. Okay, and so Mary suggested that down here is this fill button that fills it up. So instead of just doing outline of cheers, so it'll be outlined around with the green showing through. You can fill it with the foil. 
And so let's go ahead and do that. That says cheer. Oh, that's like cheerleading. Oh, well, I don't want that one. So we can say congratulations, favorite, Irene, joy, memories. I like the love. Did you see that love? That was funky. I like that. Let's do something funky. Can we fill it? Oh, yes. Okay. I like doing that. So um, this is 1.81 1 1 inches high and 5.9 um, inches wide. So if you've got a 12 by 12 and you're halfway down, it's going to be like this one right here, the friends. And can y'all see that? I'm going to push you down just a little more. Burk. So the friends is the actual length of the letters. Looks like to me about five inches, maybe four and a half. Um, it's coming off the mat some here. So you've got about a one inch margin and then you've got a top margin too. So let's go ahead and set that. I moved mine around. Um, Mary waits till... Um, she gets the matte scan until she moves it. I do a lot of Cricut um, graphic design, so I'm kind of used to doing it the other way, where I look down at my mat, and then I'm going to look up and, and kind of move it that way. I could scan it, but I'm not ready to do that yet, so I want to add. And I like this present. Let's see if they've got anything. That's Halloween. That's planet, so we could say your planet is, your love is off this planet. <laughs> okay, Mother Earth. It looks like there's a lot of um, different things you can do for Earth Day, spring, summer. Now there's only two pages, so there's a page guide right there. All right, very good. Go back over here and let's frame it. That will be pretty. I like that idea. So what kind of frames do they have? They have four pages of frames. So this is two of four. And I'm going down like that one. And we've already got hearts, so we don't want to overdo the hearts because you don't want hearts and hearts and hearts. Or I don't. Anyway, it's totally up to you. That's the good thing about these machines. You do it the way you like it. And then your friends get them and you go, that's how I like to do it. So... There is not aspect ratio on the, this Brother Scan and Cut. This is the CM350. There's not aspect ratio, so... Oh, I'm sorry, there is aspect ratio. It's locked in. Okay, oh, I'm sorry. My fault. So, I want this the other way. I want it landscape, not portrait. So, that took me back. Going back to it. So, our letters were like five... That's height. So I'm going to pretend, so I'm going to make my height six because when I get it on the mat, I'm going to flip it. I'm going to rotate it. So this would be six. So if the letters are five, that gives me about a one inch margin. And of course, we're going to play with that once we get on the mat. Then we'll flip it when we get it on the mat. So, okay. And this is where I can flip it. See this little, it's got a straight line down and you flip it left to right. So I want to rotate it. Oh, that's flip. I'm sorry. This is rotate. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Okay. See, I'm just learning this machine too. So rotate has the um, X and Y axis with an arrow. So and we'll say set. Look, we get a nice frame around our... Oh, you know what we didn't do with that? We didn't um, fill it. So shape. Oh, that's out of shape. So X out of that. I need to fix this shape here. So do I add pattern? Oops, I went all the way back. Back. Oh, thank you. Okay, so that took me back. I wanted to add. Okay. Okay, so we're back to this. There's still. Ha ha ha. Okay, so when I rotated it, I could have filled it at the same time. So let me rotate again. Gotcha. So read the little, like this is frame, that's rotate, this is crop probably. This is frame, and then this is width and height. 
and it's really way too high. And but I don't think is it gonna number one, number two, number three. Oh, that tells me how many I can actually put in the um how many of these images I'm gonna have in in the space in the back. Okay, so let's take our number down. Just do one. Okay, I know, Jenny. Okay, here we go. So now this frame I don't want. So how do I delete it? Try. Okay, so the frame that I don't want is um, highlighted. I'm going to trash it and say, okay, very good. And I think this is where I can change my width and my height. So I need my width more, my height less, and it's got aspect ratio. So why is aspect ratio locked on this? Um, that takes it back to the beginning. So that's your reset. Does this let me? No, what is this? I, I'm not sure what this is doing. Oh, it's putting a frame around my frame. Okay, okay, sorry. That was putting a frame around my frame. So let's click OK. And this I need to change the, this, the shape of. I don't like this shape. Yeah. Um... Now that moves the one shape by itself when it's highlighted. That one. Okay, I can look closer at this one. That's good. Oh, it's got little pretty things in it. Nice. It's going to have little like dots. I like that. So, uh, Okay, so you can only look at this at 200 and 400 magnification. It's not letting me... When I do that, I get... Oh, so I can move it around. Okay. So we're going to have to make this frame... You see what I mean? It needs to be wider, but not taller. And it doesn't appear that the shape is letting me do that. Well, now I've got select shape. Oh, what is this? No, that's for the mat. Okay, no, that's the mat. This is things on the mat. Okay, can I? Oh, that joins the things. That's nice. But, okay, that won't give me the fills to, to change the aspect ratio. So we're going to say, okay, I'm going to do this and this, and I need to make it bigger. And this is something, I'm a keyboarder with a computer. And I don't like having to hold um, the touch screens down. Oops, that's not what I want to do. I gotta make love smaller. Your love will never be small. Okay. Am I gonna move this here? Okay, you go away. I need that tip. There we go. Okay, get love over there. Put love right here. And on my mat, I actually, um, I'm going to use that line right there for the top of love. And then I'm going to pull this line up here for the frame so it's on this line here. Oh, can't do that. Okay. That looks straight to me. She's like, really? 
Do you really think it's straight? Oh, that's better. And Okay. I like that. All right. So, okay. 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 We're going to draw it. So, we've got this in. I'm probably burning my mat over there. Because one thing Mary told me to do is not stick that over there. And then I've been messing with my... Draw. Oh, start <laughs> So it says it's taken 16 minutes. I will show you the results on my Instagram and my um, Facebook page from Jenny's Garden. Instagram is at J.E. Boylston. And thank you very much for coming. We'll see how this works. It might not be tight enough there. Well, I'll let you guys watch with me. I'm not going to do the whole 16 minutes, but I just want to make sure it doesn't rip. I've got actually two pieces of foil in there, so that one is overlapping. We'll just see if the bubbling is going to hurt anything. That's enough. That looks like it's going. I will see you guys um, on my next video. Thank you for coming to From Jenny's Garden, and we hope that you come back again and see our next um, videos, club ups, fun, anything. We don't care. We're just having a good time with art. Thanks.